Yep. Hello, everybody. This is Danielle Anderson. I am a fitness and sport instructor over at CFB Edmonton. I'm going to be running you guys through a power hour class for the next hour. Um, but there's just a couple housekeeping things that we have to kind of go through before that. Um, so just in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness classes uh, to Canadian Armed Forces members by using social media platforms. The virtual fitness classes tailored to the CAF personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not CAF members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness levels are unknown, and it is entirely up to each individual and its to assess their ability to participate in this class. I apologize, I'm reading from a script. Uh, since it is preferable to consult your physician prior to beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not CAF members to consult the Get Active questionnaire on the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology website and its reference documents. And my partner Adrian here will be posting the links in the comments below. Um, if you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercises presented in this video, please stop and consult a healthcare provider. If CAF members sustain an injury during this video um, from any of the exercises that we're doing today, please make sure that you fill out a CF-98. All right, um, also just make sure that you have lots of water on hand. You will need that as well. Again, please make sure that you modify any exercises that I'm currently doing here. I'll try to provide you with as much modifications as I can. Um, but again, take rest periods as you need to. Feel free to kind of mix up the rest intervals, the work intervals that we're doing today as well. Okay, so like I said, this is a power hour workout. Okay, so we're gonna be focusing a lot on some strength stuff as well as some speed stuff. So we're gonna be doing some isometric contractions where we're holding positions and then we're gonna get really springy and explosive kind of towards the uh, end of the workout here. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a couple minutes to grab um, some equipment that you might need for this workout here. Um, so one thing that you are going to need is gonna be something like a coffee table. I would recommend you get something very sturdy. Um, just because we will be kind of squatting on it, so it will be kind of holding a little bit of your body weight. Um, so if it's something very flimsy, it might kind of knock over. We don't want that to happen, okay? So just be very careful. Um, other things you can use as well if you don't have a coffee table is just like a chair, a box, a moving bin, um, a toilet, <laughs> if you really want to use that. Um, but essentially, anything that's going to be about the height of your um, squat depth at about 90 degrees. So if you're not quite sure, just kind of stand up, give me a squat down to your thighs are about somewhat parallel close um, or parallel to the floor. And that's about roughly the height of the piece of equipment that you're going to want for our box squat exercise. Okay, the other piece of equipment that you are going to need is something that is a light to moderate load. Um, so that can be like a dumbbell, a kettlebell, um, sort of anything. I have my sack of potatoes here that I'm going to be using for the workout. Um, so this is what I'm using here. If you have something else like a textbook or maybe a backpack, sandbag, whatever you can sort of get your hands on. But again, we don't want it to be too heavy just because when we get to doing the speed stuff and the explosive exercises, we don't want it to be so heavy that it's weighing us down and we're going really slow. Okay, so that's just something to keep in mind as well. All right. So again, just make sure you have kind of everything sort of roughly around you here so you can quickly grab it um, whenever I say to, okay? But if you are ready to go, we might as well get started here. So first and foremost, we are going to warm up before we get into all the fun stuff here. So I'm gonna get y'all to stand up and we're just gonna jog on the spot here. So again, we're trying to get the heart rate up. I think we're just trying to warm up, get the blood pumping a little bit. Okay, so if you wanna throw some arm circles in, also, feel free to play any music that you want as well. I won't be playing any music here, um, so you just get to listen to me breathe for the next 60 minutes, which is great. But if you want to play some music in the background, that's awesome too. And I would highly, highly recommend it. My breathing is not that great. <laughs> okay, so just kind of pick up the speed a little bit here, running on the spot. Pretend like you're outside. Maybe you are outside. If so, that's great. And again, a few more arm circles going forward, just nice and slow. So as you're doing these arm circles here, I want you to really try to rotate through the shoulder blades here, okay? Get those scaps moving a little bit. We don't just want kind of floppy arms, right? We want to get those shoulder blades warmed up as well. And backwards. I'm breathing hard already. And forward again. We're gonna bring the arms just across the body here and we're gonna open up a nice big pinch through the shoulder blades and switch. Good. 
Good, good, good. Next, we're gonna take the arms up, so extend up nice and high here. We're gonna bring the elbows down in towards the rib cage again. Nice big reach up, lift those shoulder blades up, and depress them back down. Good, we're gonna reach out in front, same thing here. So try to create lots of space between the shoulder blades and then bring them together as you bring those elbows in nice and close towards the rib cage. Okay, so kind of like a push-up, but you're in a standing position. Don't worry, we'll get to real push-ups right away. Good, next we're just gonna move into knee hugs. So just in a standing position, just kind of nice and slow. You're just gonna bring your knee up and kind of hug it in nice and close towards the chest. Make sure you're keeping a nice tight core. And then just switch. This one will challenge your balance a little bit as well. Just nice and slow, pull it in. And let's speed it up a little bit quicker here. Next, we're gonna move into high knees. So again, we just wanna do short, quick, choppy steps. And you thought my warm up was gonna be easy. <laughs> Good, and then just bring your heels up to your back, just nice and slow. Get a nice little stretch. Again, through the hamstrings, warming up that lower body. And let's speed it up a little bit quicker. Okay, next warm up exercise we're gonna move into is called the world's greatest stretch. So we are going to start in a low lunge. We're just gonna tuck that tail under by squeezing our glutes, make sure they're turned on. We're gonna take the opposite hand here from that bent knee. We're just gonna place on the outside. We're just gonna do a nice little twist, taking my shoulders over towards that side wall. Hang out here for like two breaths. Then we're gonna untwist. I'm gonna take my right hand here, nice big reach up. Again, make sure you're still kind of leaning into this lunge position here, stretching out those hips. Good, I'm gonna bring my hands down on the inside of this front foot here. I'm gonna lift up into a high lunge position here. I'm gonna to twist towards this bent knee, same side hand, just gonna reach up nice and tall. Try and stack those shoulders one on top of the other. Good, big inhale, I'm gonna come down. I'm just gonna shift my body weight back here, pop that front toe up and sneak in a quick little hamstring stretch. Good, we'll switch out sides. So again, low lunge position, tuck that tailbone under, lean into it a little bit here. I'm gonna take this left hand, place it on the outside of that right knee, twist. Hold for about two breaths. I'm gonna untwist, nice big reach up with that left hand. Big inhale in, exhale, bring that hand down on the inside of that foot. Let's lift up into that high lunge position here. We're gonna to twist towards that bent knee. Same side hand reaches up nice and tall. Good, we're gonna bring the hand back down, shift the body weight back, sneak in that quick little hamstring stretch here. We're gonna do this one one more time on each side, just because it is the world's greatest stretch. Richard Stoffer version here. Okay, twist towards the wall. Good, untwist, big reach. Again, stretch into that lunge position, big inhale in. Exhale, bring the hand down, high lunge position next. When you're ready, twist towards the bent knee, take that hand, reaches up nice and tall. And bring that hand back down, let's Lean back, shift the body weight back, bring those toes up towards the shin bone. Let's sneak in that hamstring stretch. And switch out sides. Low lunge, squeeze those glutes, tuck that tailbone, take that opposite hand here, twist. And untwist, nice big reach up. I've got my left hand up here, nice big reach, big inhale in. Exhale, bring the hands down on the inside of that front foot. High lunge position next, so I'm using that hamstring to lift that back knee up off the ground, and I'm twisting towards that bent knee. Same side hand, reach up nice and tall. Good, bring the hand down, and shift the body weight back. Sneak in that hamstring stretch. 
Okay, next little drill here again, just to warm those hips up, we're gonna move into a 90-90 hip stretch. So I'm gonna start on my butt, both knees are gonna be pointed straight up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna take my right knee here and I'm just gonna kinda externally rotate through the hip, laying the outside of the thigh down on the floor. While I take the left knee here, this one's gonna internally rotate, coming down kinda towards the midline of the body. Okay, so essentially you're setting your legs up in a 90 degree angle on each side, okay? So one should be turned in, one should be turned out. So I've got my right leg turned out here. So I'm just gonna twist to make sure I'm kind of lined up with that. Once I do that, I'm gonna contract that right glute. I'm gonna try to squeeze or push the knee down in towards the floor. From here, we're just gonna lean forward into the stretch. So I don't want you to bring your chest down here and collapse through the spine. I want you to think about keeping a nice solid core, nice proud chest. A good little coaching technique here is just to take your left hand and kind of push it straight out in front of you here. Okay, in line with the chest. So we're not going down, we're staying up. So we're gonna hang out here just for a couple seconds. Again, push that knee down into the floor. Good, and we're gonna relax. We're gonna switch to the other side now. So this I want you to try to do as graceful as possible here. So I'm gonna untwist my upper body. I'm gonna start bringing this left leg up as I bring the right one, and I'm back up in that seated position here and then transitioning over into the opposite side. So same thing, get kind of set up here. Make sure that ankle is in line with the knee, knee is in line with the hip, 90-90, okay? We're gonna turn here towards the left leg. Same thing here, I'm gonna squeeze through that left glute, push that knee down into the floor, and lean myself forward. If I have to bring that right hand out and kind of press forward, just kind of get a feel of what that's like, that's totally cool. If you have to bring your hand down, that's okay as well. Again, just do whatever you need to do here to find that stretch through the hip joint. Good, we're gonna do this one one more time each side as well. Okay, so same thing, try to transition back into that seated position, nice and smooth, over to the other side. Readjust. 90-90, twist that body here so you're in line with that right leg, and same thing again here, let's drive that knee into the floor, and lean forward. Good, and one more time each side. Nice and slow, nice and smooth. Here, adjust, get into that 90-90 position. Slightly twist towards that left side. Again, in this one, if you're really tight in the hips, you might kind of find that you're starting to cramp up a little bit. If you are, that's okay. Just kind of come out of the stretch, shake your legs out a little bit. Just means you need to be doing more hip mobility stuff. Okay, same thing here. Lean forward, drive that left knee down, squeeze through the glute. Good, good, good. And you can release, come out of this one here. Again, we're just still gonna keep warming those hips up. So this next drill, we're gonna start on all fours. We're just gonna do some rotations through that hip joint here. So again, on all fours, biggest thing I want you to focus on is making sure that we're maintaining a good neutral spine and we're keeping the pelvis level to the floor. This one, it's really easy for the pelvis to kind of go all crazy and um, for us to extend through that low back. We want to try to avoid that. So again, we want to make sure that we're pulling that belly button in towards that spinal column. Pelvis stays nice and level to the floor. What this one is going to look like is we're going to flex through the hip. So I'm going to bring my knee up in towards my chest into flexion. I'm going to abduct it out towards the side about as high as I can get it. So here, I don't want to like break position and do this to get some height. Okay, if you've got limited range of motion in your hips, you might not be able to get that knee very high and that's okay. Once I'm here, I'm gonna to start to internally rotate as I kick my hip up towards this, or sorry, as I kick my heel up towards the ceiling and move the hip into extension. So I'm squeezing through that glute, trying to keep my pelvis as level to the floor as possible. So again, this one, you wanna do nice and slow. Don't wanna rush through it. Really try to work through those sticky points. So forward into flexion, abduct out to the side, kind of like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Okay, rotate, internally rotate that knee in. Kick that heel all the way up towards the ceiling as I take that leg back behind me into extension. And I'm squeezing through the glute and lifting through that hamstring. Okay, so once you've done three on that side, we're gonna switch and do three on the other side. So nice and slow, move into flexion. 
Take that knee towards the outside. Abduction, we're gonna internally rotate. Kick the heel up. Squeeze through the glute to lift up through that hamstring. And again, nice and slow, just at your own pace. We're essentially making like a nice big circle in that hip joint. Good, once you're done three on that side here, we're gonna stay in our tabletop position on the floor. Okay, so this next one here, if you've been following, Adri following Adrian's yoga videos, you've probably done this one before. So we're gonna go through some cat-cow poses next. Okay, here's some spinal flexion and extension. So here, we're gonna start in that neutral spine. Again, we're gonna uh, break that neutral as we inhale. We're gonna drop the belly button down, eyes come up and forward. We're gonna take that tailbone up to the ceiling. As we exhale here, we're gonna start tucking through the tailbone first. We're gonna move through that low back, drive that belly button up towards the ceiling, lift up through the rib cage, and then we're gonna bring the chin down towards the chest. So again, we're gonna do five reps here, just at your own pace with your own breath. Big inhale, belly button comes down, tailbone up, eyes up and forward. Exhale, go tailbone first, through the low back, up through the rib cage, and tuck the chin at the end. Let's do. And exhale, three. So we're just warming the vertebrae up here, getting them moving, getting them a little bit more mobile. And one more each pose here. Big inhale in. And exhale, tuck the tail. Round through the back, drop the chin down in towards the chest. Good. Okay, next one, you're gonna to come to a standing position. We're gonna do a couple inchworms next. Okay, so this one here, we're just gonna warm up the hamstrings a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move into a forward fold. Here, I'm gonna push my hips back, stretch out the hamstrings. I'm gonna drop my hands all the way down towards the floor, relax the head and the neck. Once I'm here, I'm gonna walk my hands out into a plank position. Hold here, squeeze the core nice and tight. Then I'm gonna walk my hands all the way back into my forward fold. So if you don't have a whole lot of room to do this one, you might have to kind of just maneuver, walk your hands out as about as far as you can get them, and then just walk them back. Here, hold, so I'm squeezing through the glutes, I'm lifting up through the rib cage as well, and I'm always thinking about pulling that belly button in towards my spinal column. Okay, keeping that core tight, tight, tight. Two. Let's do a couple more just for fun. And walk the hands back. This is number three. And two more. Squeeze and walk your hands back. And last one just for fun. Good. Okay, next warm up exercise, last one, I promise, then we'll move into the other stuff, is we're gonna continue warming up the hips. So we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff in that squat position here. Okay, so we're gonna stand about feet shoulder width apart. You can splay your toes out a little bit as well. Okay, from here, I'm just gonna grab onto my toes, again, into that forward fold. So I'm stretching the hamstrings out, pushing those hips up towards the ceiling. From here, I'm gonna drop my butt down as low as I can into that deep squat position. So try to keep your heels down on the floor as much as possible. Okay, I'm using my elbows here just to kind of push my knees toward, out towards the outside. Again, I wanna think about keeping a nice tight core and keeping my chest lifted. Okay, so if this is a good enough stretch for you and you're like, holy crap, Danielle, I really feel it, then just stay here, okay? But if you're kind of good in this position, you're nice and comfortable because you've been following those yoga videos for the last like three weeks, Okay, we're just gonna throw a little rotation in the squat position here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left hand and I'm just gonna reach it up nice and tall up towards the ceiling. Okay, try to see about as far as you can go. If you feel any pain, discomfort, anything, just kind of come back and go back into that deep squat. Okay, we're gonna release, come back down. We're gonna switch out sides. So same thing, reach up nice and tall. I'm still pushing on that left leg with my left elbow, reaching that right hand up towards the ceiling. Bring back down, do one more each side. There, and bring back down, and switch, second side. Good, 
Okay, good, good. And you can relax, release, come out of that deep squat position. If you are stuck there, I apologize. <laughs> Hopefully you're not. Okay, quickly grab some water here, shake out your muscles, kind of do any other movement that you need to do to kind of continue um, with your own warm up. Ideally, you should be feeling a little warm at this point. I know I am. All right. Okay, so just a kind of um, extension of our warm up here. So we are going to go into, into some squat holds next. So basically, I'm just going to get you to hold it for 10 seconds, followed by 10 seconds of rest. Super easy, super basic. There's just a couple of squat position. Okay. So again, once we kind of move into that squat here, the biggest thing I want you to think about is kind of what your core and your chest is doing as well as the posterior part of your um, body, so your back, okay? So when we drop down into that squat position here, we wanna to try to get as close as we can to that 90 degree angle. So again, here, I wanna to try to get my thighs as parallel to the floor as I can. My weight should kind of be distributed in the mid part of my foot. So we don't wanna to be too far forward on our toes and we don't wanna to be too far back on our heels, okay? So we're just going to kind of get into this squat position. I'm going to start a timer, 10 seconds. That's all I want you to do here. But I want you to think about really squeezing those glutes as hard as you can. We have to start waking them up here. If you've been doing lots of sitting and stuff, we need to think about loading the hamstrings as we drop down into that squat. And we're keeping the core nice and tight. So 10 seconds, followed by 10 seconds of rest. We're going to do this one for maybe three, maybe four sets. We'll see how it goes, okay? All right, and let's drop down into that squat position here. Okay, so if you notice that my squat position here is not ideal or I'm starting to get a little bit lazy, comment below and be like, Danielle, get your crap together, fix your squat, okay? Good, and just rest, see, 10 seconds, super easy. Okay, this next set here, again, what I want you to really focus on is keeping that nice proud chest, pull those lats underneath and let's drop down into that squat. Hold here, 10 seconds. Squeeze those glutes, keep those hamstrings loaded. Do you feel like you're kind of swaying? Try to stay as still as possible. And relax, that's two sets already done. Okay, last one here. Short little break. We're just holding it 10 seconds. And let's drop back down. If you need to kind of put your hands out to kind of counterbalance you here, you can do that as well. Okay, making sure that we're not hyperextending through that low back. Good, and relax. Okay, that's three sets done. Bang, boom, just like that, okay? Next one here. So again, because this is a power class, we want to try to be explosive and springy. So again, we're just going to try to train our inner tiggers here, okay? We're going to get a little bit more bouncy in that squat position. Okay, so what this one is going to look like, we're going to do five little bounces as deep as we can in that squat position here. When I say switch, we're going to come back up into that 90 degree angle and we're going to do a couple bounces here. When I say switch, you're going to go back down into that deep squat and then back up to 90, okay? So we're just gonna alternate between those two positions here. Try to be as springy and bouncy as possible, okay? If you have lots of space and you wanna kind of bounce in that bottom position and try to challenge yourself and walk around, you can do that as well. If you've kind of got a small area, sort of like I have here today, then just kind of stay on the spot and just do five um, bounces just in that same position, okay? I'm talking a lot, I need some water. All right, so when you're ready here, let's drop down into that deep squat position. Just five bounces, that's all we're doing. We're keeping the reps nice and low. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna come up into that 90 degree angle. Bounce, one, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're squeezing through the glutes. Back down, one, two, three, four, five. Back up to 90, one, two, three, four, five. Back down, one, two, three, four, Five, back up to 90, last one, one, two, three, four, and five. Good, 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 and take a short little break. Maybe you're starting to notice that your quads are burning a little bit, or maybe your glutes, hamstrings are. If you're not feeling anything, then we're probably doing something wrong. Maybe you have to increase your reps. Maybe you have to bounce a little bit harder. Again, always adjust the exercises that we're doing today. Just kind of suit your own fitness levels, fitness needs, whatever it might be. Okay, second time through. We're gonna do that same thing again here. So like I said, if you've got the space, try to challenge yourself and make the movement a little bit more dynamic by moving in a linear direction, okay? So let's drop down into that deep squat position here. Five reps, one, two, three, four, five. Keep the chest up in that 90 degree. One, 
two, three, four, five. Nice and bouncy. One, two, three, four, five. Back up to 90. One, two, three, four, five. Keep those glutes squeezed back down. One, two, three, four, five. Back up to 90. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Take a short little break. We're going to do that one one more time. Okay, just five reps. All right, last one here. Let's drop down into that squat position. So while I'm in the squat position, I'm thinking about really squeezing through those glutes. Again, my chest is lifted and I'm pulling those shoulder blades kind of down and back. Nice, proud chest. And when you're ready here, let's get bouncing. One, two, three, four, five. Up to that 90. One, two, three, four, five. Back down. One, two, three, four, five. Up to 90. One, two, three, four, five. Five, back down one more. One, two, three, four, five. Back up to 90. One, two, three, four, and five. And relax. I don't know about you, my quads are on fire. <laughs> All right. Hopefully we're doing so far so good. If you have any questions, please make sure that you are commenting on the video below. Adrienne is on standby and she is answering um, those for you. If you want to make fun of me as well, feel free. I don't care. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. So the next exercise that we're going to go into is going to be our box squats or in my, uh, case coffee table potato squats. Okay. <laughs> Please comment below if you are doing something just as ridiculous as me. I would love to hear it. Love to see it. Okay, so this one here is again, it's a good tool um, just to kind of help train um, that hip dominant, dominant pattern in your squat. Um, just trying to help build strength up in that bottom position, right? Because it's very easy when you're doing back squats and stuff under a barbell to kind of get stuck in that position. So again, this is just a good coaching um, tool to utilize just to really help push the uh, feet into the floor right to come back up into standing. Okay, so what we're gonna do first set, we're just going to do eight to 10 easy reps with just body weight. Okay, so what it's gonna look like is my piece of equipment is gonna be behind me here. I'm gonna stand in my squat position, feet about shoulder width apart, toes splayed out. I'm gonna be sitting my hips back until I touch the top of my coffee table box, whatever it might be. Okay, so again, I'm not completely sitting back and then like lounging and having a sip, having a beer. That's not quite what we're doing here, okay? We're just more so kind of using this as kind of a coaching tool just to kind of help practice get sitting those hips back. Okay, so once you kind of touch your piece of equipment here, again, we are going to try to drive that body straight up in a vertical pattern. So we wanna to try to avoid having a torso sway in this position. So I'm not kind of leaning forward and coming up out of my squat. I'm squatting down, squeeze the glutes, push through the floor, and I'm coming back up to standing. Okay, so I'm driving my hips back, driving my hips forward. Okay, upper body, try to keep that core as tight as you can. Spine nice and neutral, pull those shoulder blades back in together. Nice, proud chest. Okay, so we're just going to do 8 to 10 super easy repetitions just with your body weight. So here, I want you to try to slow them down and be controlled as well, okay? If you want to keep your hands out, just to kind of help counterbalance you, that's all right as well. Okay, so whenever you're ready here, let's just do 10 easy reps. Squeeze those glutes, nice big press all the way up to standing. Good, and then pushing those knees towards the outside and not allowing them to cave in. This is going to be number six, seven, Can load those hamstrings, squeeze those glutes, push to the floor, stand back up, eight, and one more, just a body weight, squeeze those glutes, big press all the way up to standing, good, 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 okay, nice and easy. All right, next set, we're gonna grab onto your equipment. Again, whatever that might be here, we are going to hold onto our weight, just kind of nice and close in towards our chest, kind of like a goblet position. 
if you are using something that is really like obscure and you have to kind of put on your shoulder back of your head again i wouldn't really recommend that try to find something that you can hold kind of right in front of your chest and keep it nice and close in towards your body okay second set here we're just going to do the same thing again but now that we're loaded i want you to think about when you're coming down into that squat position moving into that concentric uh, contraction that we're keeping it nice and slow and controlled. Okay. I'm not just allowing myself to flop back and pushing up. Okay. Everything stays nice and tight, nice and strong. All your muscles should be working in this squat. Even though it's a lower body exercise, your upper body is still doing work as well. Okay. So again, just eight to 10, nice, easy repetitions, nice, slow, controlled. Uh, let's just increase that time under tension here. Okay. So the slower, the better, especially when you start getting fatigued, don't speed them up. Okay. Try to keep them nice and slow. So when you're ready here, feet shoulder width apart, toes can be splayed out a little bit. And again, we are going to squeeze the glutes as we go back, load the hamstrings, just till you kind of set down on top of your piece of equipment. Again, drive the feet through the floor, all the way back up to standing. It's one. It's two. Three, make sure you're pulling those shoulder blades back and together. Four, five, halfway, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten, and take a short little break. Eat a potato if you need some carbs in between. <laughs> I will not be doing that. I'm not very hungry, but. All right, we got one more set left to go of our tabletop squats. So every time you get in and out of a chair now, every time you sit on the toilet, this is how I want you to do it. <laughs> All right, last set. Let's grab our piece of equipment, hold it nice and close in towards our chest here in that goblet position. Feet shoulder width apart, toes splayed out. Again, let's screw those feet into the floor. Keep those legs nice and strong. Chest is lifted, core nice and tight. And let's sit those hips back into that squat position. Squeeze through the glutes, push through the floor, all the way back up to standing. Drive those hips forward. One. Two. Three. Four. Nice and slow on the way down. Five, a little bit quicker on the way up. Six. Seven, keep that core nice and tight. Eight. Nine, and last one. Ten, okay, awesome, good job. How's everybody doing out there? Make sure you commented below so we know that you are having the time of your lives. Working out at home. I know I sure am. All right. We're just going to switch gears here a little bit. We're just going to move into some core stuff next. We'll just kind of give the lower body a little bit of a break. Okay, so we're just going to go into some front planks followed by some dead bugs. We're going to do some mountain climbers and then follow it up with some more dead bugs. Surprise. Okay. Um, so basically what we're going to do for the front planks, we're just going to hold it for 15 seconds followed by 15 seconds of rest. Okay. Nice and easy. When we get to the dead bugs, we're going to do that in, um, reps, which I will explain once we get to that point. Okay. So for this front squat here, sorry, front squat, sorry for your front planks. Um, you are going to be doing front planks, but if you want to mix it up and do any kind of variations, if you want to do a side plank, that's entirely up to you as well. All right, so 15 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. Again, the uh, work intervals are going to be very short here. Okay, nothing too wild or crazy. All right, and when you're ready here, let's get into that top plank position here. So you can be up on your hands, down on your elbows. If you need to kind of modify, go down on your knees. Just make sure that your hips aren't sagging and we're keeping nice and tight through the core. And rest, 15 seconds, super easy, super short. Take a short little break. Whew. 
Just get my lounge on real quick. Okay, three seconds here, second set. Let's get set up. Hold, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I'm squeezing through the glutes. I'm lifting up with those hamstrings and pulling that belly button in towards that spinal column. And rest, 15 seconds. I've got two more. All right, three seconds, let's get set up. And go, short interval. Squeeze, 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 keep everything nice and tight. Good, and 15 seconds of rest. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna move into is going to be our dead bugs. Okay, so again, this is just a good exercise to do to kind of help reinforce sort of what the back of your body is doing, especially in the squat positions, as well as just to kind of basically like bracing your core, right? So in that dead bug position here, we're gonna have a lie down on our back. Knees are gonna be bent just at a 90 degree angle here. I'm just gonna rest my hands down by my side, elbows on the floor. So the biggest thing about here is you don't want to have any void kind of under that low back. So you want to brace the core and push that low back into the floor. Okay. So this is kind of an exaggerated version of sort of the dead bug here, but this is kind of what I want you to sort of do just to kind of help, um, clear up that space. Okay. So once you've braced your core and you're ready here, I'm keeping that chin tucked. I'm just going to extend my arms up here. I'm going to go opposite arm, opposite leg, and I'm just going to extend down, still pushing that low back as hard as I can into the floor and come all the way back up. So nice and slow, three, two, one, down into that bottom position, push that low back, keep that core nice and tight and return back up. Three, two, one, lower squeeze, keep it all tight, tight, tight. Don't get lazy, don't relax, bring it back up. Three, two, one, down to that dead bug, push that low back down. Back up, and three, two, one, you should be in that extended position here, opposite arm, opposite leg, and back up. Three, two, one, nice and slow. So I'm just counting the tempo here of the movement of your dead bug. Okay, one more side, one more time each side. Back up, last one here. Three, two, one. Hang out in that extended position of driving that low back into the floor. Keep everything tight, tight, tight. And bring it all the way back up. Good, and relax. All right, next one here that we're gonna do again, nice short interval, just to kind of keep that heart rate up a little bit. We are gonna move into mountain climbers next. So basically you're gonna do as many reps as you can in 15 seconds followed by 15 seconds of rest. So again, the intervals are going to be very short, but again, we wanna be nice, quick, and speedy, okay? So just make sure in these mountain climbers here that you're really using that core to pull those knees up in towards your chest. We don't wanna be driving the hips up, doing some kind of funky worm movement, okay? Again, we wanna stay nice and tight through the core. That's kind of the goal of it here. All right, so let's get set up here for your mountain climbers. So we're gonna be in that top position that we would be for a push-up here. Three, two, one, go, nice, quick. Bring those knees up as fast as you can. Okay, so I'm trying to keep my hips as level as I can to the floor. I'm not gonna pop it up, do kind of any funky thing like that. And rest, 15 seconds. Short little break. So again, this one we wanna be nice and speedy, okay? Now let's get set back up. Three, two, one, go, 15 seconds, fast as you can. Pump those knees, pump those knees. You should be kneeing yourself in the chin if you can. And rest, 15 seconds. Got one more set left of those to do. So nice big deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. And let's get set up, ready, and go. Last set here, pump those knees, keep that core tight, tight, tight. Five, four, 
three, two, one, and rest. Good, good, good. And let's have a lie down on our back. Go back into our dead bugs here. So again, knees bent at 90. We're gonna start elbows on the floor first. Make sure I brace through the core here. Push that low back into the ground. Keep that chin tucked when I'm ready. Extend the arms up. And let's go opposite arm, opposite leg. Three, two, one, down into that extended position, nice and slow. Hang out here, bring the limbs back up. Again, drive that low back into the ground. Don't allow that core to rest or relax at any point. Bring back up and extend. Back up, extend down. Back up, three, two, one, nice and slow, down to that extended position. Core stays tight, push that low back in, bring your limbs back up. Three, two, one, and back up. One more time here, each side. Again, push that low back down, core stays nice and tight. Three, two, one, into that extended position. Keep the limbs up off the ground. As we move them back, we don't want to relax them down on the floor. Push that low back down, core stays nice and tight. Good. And bring the limbs back up. Good. And just take a couple seconds here just to rest and relax. Grab some water. fun stuff next okay um, so we did a lot of kind of squat work a lot of hip mobility stuff so now we're just gonna move into a um, series of jump squats here okay um, so basically with this one here again we just want to be nice quick fast and explosive sort of when I tell you to um, the first couple sets we're just gonna do a little bit slower just so you can kind of get a feel for it to just make sure that you're doing everything kind of safe um, and then once you kind of feel a little bit more confident with the movement there then we'll start to add the speed Right? Any kind of power training movement, I like to think of it kind of like a pyramid, right? Pyramid of training here, and power is always kind of right at the top, okay? So we need to make sure that we have a good level of general fitness. Then we need to move into kind of muscle building, right? So when we start to like work on the pipes a little bit, get those all built up, then we kind of move into the strength, and it's very important that we have a good solid strength um, base before we start adding the speed component to it, okay? So that's kind of like the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. So again, those box squats, everything we kind of did at the beginning, good strength stuff. Um, now we're gonna get into the speedy, fast, explosive stuff. AKA your jump squats. All right, so with your jump squats here, we're just gonna do one set, five reps, that's it, that's all, of just body weight first, okay? So this first one here, I'm gonna recommend that you just do it a little bit slower, really practice on your landing, okay? So uh, basically what that's kind of gonna kind of look like here is I'm gonna reset after each rep. So when I go to do my jump squat here, I'm gonna go down, I'm kind of preloading, I'm pushing those legs into the floor, and then I'm gonna power up, nice soft landing, I'm gonna catch myself in between, okay? Again, if you kind of share a house, you've got tenants in the top or bottom, try to be as quiet as possible. Don't let them hear your jump squats for this reps, or for these uh, this set here, okay? So again, just five nice, easy reps. If you want to kind of use your hands for momentum, that's entirely up to you here. Um, but again, we're not kind of swinging the arms like a wild animal, okay? Again, we just want to keep the focus on the lower body mostly, okay? So five easy reps here, just kind of at your own pace. Let's squat down. So again, we're loading the glutes, we're loading the hamstrings, we're keeping that chest nice and proud, we're tucking those shoulder blades kind of down and together, and we're gonna fire up. Try not to jump your head through the ceiling. If you do, just send me your drywall bill and I will fix it for you. <laughs> okay, that's one and two. Getting up nice and high, nice soft landing. Okay, let's move into that triple flexed position here. So we're flexed to the ankle, knees, and the hips. Move into your triple extension. We're extending all the way through. Nice soft landing. That's three already. Two more. Reset. And reset. Good. Okay, so now let's do it a little bit quicker on this next set here. So um, this next one, we want to be quick, fast, and explosive. Okay, body weight only for right now. All right. 
When we're ready, let's go. Preload here, push those legs down to the floor. I'm pushing my knees up and fire up. One, two, three, four, and five. Take a rest, short little break. Got my sack of potatoes ready for this next couple sets. Okay, so this one here, we are gonna grab uh, your weight now. Okay, we're just gonna kind of do it nice and slow just so you can get a sense of kind of how it changes under a load now. So again, I want you to reset in between each rep. Okay, so just five repetitions, resetting each time. So squat down, fair up, nice soft landing. Ooh, almost left my footing there. <laughs> and again, number two, nice soft landing, reset. Four, and last one. And five. Good, take a short little break. So you can see as I put a load on my jump squats, I went all crazy on that first rep. That's okay. <laughs> all right, next set here, same thing again. So again, grab onto your load. If you find that your jump squats were way too scary under your light to moderate load, then just kind of push off to the side and just keep a body weight for right now. Okay, the whole purpose is we want to be quick, fast, and powerful, right? Very speedy. That's kind of what we're going here. So if you kind of find that your, your squats are very slow, then throw your potatoes off to the side. Stick with just body weight for now. Okay? All right, let's get set up. So here we wanna link our squats together. So as soon as I land here on this next set, I'm already moving into my next repetition. Five reps in total. Ready? And squat down, fire up. One, two, three, four, and five. Boom, done already. Okay, we're gonna do one more set just like that. Take a short little break. Take a couple big deep breaths. All right, last set. Set number five. Hold that weight nice and close. Keep that chest nice and proud. Core nice and tight as if we were kind of doing those dead bugs, right? Keep everything nice and braced. Let's load those hamstrings, squeeze those glutes, and fire up through the ceiling. On this last rep, you should be touching your roof, okay? Especially if you've got big, high ceilings. And let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. Done already. Boom, just like that. Five reps. All right, take a short little break, grab some water. All right, so now that we're kind of wrapping up class a little bit here, um, you've probably noticed that there are some banners on the back wall here that say happy birthday. So it is my birthday today. And thankfully I get the gift of fitness today to give to you guys. Um, so just to kind of finish off class here, um, we're just gonna do a quick little drill. So because I'm 29 years old, I'm gonna get you to do 29 reps of any exercise that we did today um, in class, okay? So basically I am going to split mine up. So I did have push-ups planned, but unfortunately I feel like I talked way too much and maybe took a little bit too long of breaks. I don't know, just comment at the bottom <laughs> if you feel the rest periods are a little bit too uh, long. Um, but I'm gonna throw those into my 29 rep um, exercise at the end here, okay? So if you wanna mix it up, feel free to pick any exercise that you kinda wanna do or just kind of do whatever we did today, okay? So for my 29 reps, I'm going to do 10 box squats, I'm gonna do 10 push-ups, followed by five jump squats, and then I'm going to do um, four dead bugs at the end. Okay, so if you want to kind of follow along with me, that's entirely up to you. If you will kind of want to mix and match, break up your rep scheme, however you see fit. But the goal is to do 29 as a happy birthday to me. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to grab my potatoes. I'm going to start with my 10 box squats. Okay, just to wrap class up and down and up. Three. Four. Five, six, keep those glutes squeezed, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. 
Good. Okay, moving into my 10 push-ups. And then I'm going to move right into my five jump squats here. And finish off with some nice, easy dead bugs, just four reps each side. Just like that, 29 repetitions. Okay, so just to finish off, once you're kind of done that, if you're still kind of going, breaking up my birthday gift, however you see fit with your rep scheme, feel free to kind of continue on. If not, we are just gonna move into a quick um, cool down. So while we're kind of going through this cool down, make sure that you comment or put any questions at the bottom so Adrian can answer them. Okay, even if they're not about um, anything that we did in my class right here. Um, but again, just feel free to kind of comment and ask questions at the bottom. Okay, so just nice and easy, we're just going to bring the left hand across the body first, grab just above the elbow, and we're going to pull in, in nice and close towards the chest. And switch, right arm across. And left hand up behind the head here, so I'm just keeping that palm nice and flat on my Right in between my shoulder blades here, grab onto that elbow, pull it in. And switch. And we're just going to clasp the hands behind our back here, pull those shoulder blades together, stretch the chest out. Okay, move into that world's greatest stretch here. So in that low lunge position first, again, squeeze through that glute, lean into that lunge position here. Nice big reach up. With that opposite hand, we're gonna move into that high lunge here. Twist towards that bent knee, same side hand reaches up. Bring the hand down, shift the body weight back, pop that front toe up, stretch out the hamstrings. And switch, hit the other side next. Low lunge, nice big reach up. Move into that high lunge. Lift that back knee up off the ground, twist towards that bent knee, same side hand reaches up nice and tall. Bring the hand down, shift the body weight back, pop that front toe up. Okay, have a lie down on your back. We're gonna externally rotate through that right side here, bring that right foot, just place it up on top of the thigh. Bring the legs up in towards the chest here. If you can, thread your hands through, grab onto that left hamstring, pull your legs in nice and close. Try to get your shoulder blades and head in contact with the floor. And switch. Left thigh on top of the right thigh, same thing. Thread through, grab onto that right hamstring. Good. We're going to roll over onto our side here. You can just kind of use your arm to prop your neck up. We're going to go into a lazy person quad stretch. So we're just going to reach back, grab onto that foot, keep that heel kind of in line with the butt cheek, push that hip kind of forward and look for that quad stretch. So right on the top of the thigh, you can do this one standing as well. If the laying down version is too awkward. And we'll switch.
Okay, and last one here, we're just gonna pop up into kind of a downward dog leg position here. Let's just stretch the calves out real quick. So we're just gonna kind of push that heel down towards the floor, shift that body weight back. The other foot can just kind of wrap around. And switch. Good. And feel free just to, kind of, to continue stretching if you need to here. Just kind of extend your cool down. Um, that is all from me. That's all I got for you. Hopefully it was a pretty decent workout. Um, please make sure you check back. Follow the other PSP stuff that we're doing. So please check out our Facebook uh, profile, Edmonton Garrison Military Sports. We also have an Instagram page too, at psp.edmonton. So please make sure that you check that for more fun workout stuff for you to do at home in quarantine. Take care. <laughs>